Good morning guys, so I've actually got pancakes for my breakfast. They're like chocolate pancakes and they're really nice. As you can see, I've already started eating them. So I've got almond butter with banana and then blueberries with maple syrup. So you probably guessed by yesterday's main channel video that we did have another trip to Ikea. Mainly because when my mum moved the freezer, which was here, and she moved it into here, so it's next to the fridge and we know it doesn't match because this is like a more creamy, like I guess it's got a bit of a yellowy colour in it and then this is like really white but there's not much we can do about that. So we went to Ikea to get some sort of storage rack and we found this. We also got a light which it senses like when you walk past or when you're getting something out of here. Um, so that's kind of cool and so we've got all different like jars of things so up here it's like lentils and different grains and stuff. Then here we have all the herbs and spices. These are like seeds and dried fruit like berries um yeah there's some more seeds behind there i love all the jars though it just makes it look so much more organized and it's really nice um and then we've just got like chocolate bars breakfast bars um and then these are all like things add to my smoothies like maca powder cacao powder spirulina which i've not tried yet it's kind of a scary color <laughs> and flax seeds stuff like that and then there's grain here different types of Rice. How are you this morning? Are you alright? Yeah. Oh, you are a cutie. So Home Sense always have loads of like my style of books, things I like to read. Um, we actually picked up this Neil's Yard Remedies. It's got a lot of foodie recipes. It actually tells you about identifying different plants, which I thought would be good for the guinea pigs and rabbits. So that's going to really help me out with that and also I might try some of these things out, but there's all sorts of different recipes and what else? Making your own like natural products again, bath bombs, etc. Face masks, all sorts. So like that's another really good book. Oh, he's having a crazy roll. What are you doing, Vinny? You numpty. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You love playing, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> now he's gonna have a bathroom fit and as we were heading into like the bargain basement bit of ikea we also found this this is like an x display thing um they're not selling it anymore i've never actually oh hi jasper <laughs> he's like oh wait you're filming i must have to like you know get in the shot because i want i want to be filmed aren't you a funny boy I actually need to put a wash on. I've got loads of guinea pig fleeces that need cleaning. I think it cost me like £15, which isn't too bad for what you get. Um, but to be honest, I just wanted something to store all of my like natural sort of, you know, the oils and stuff, essential oils, um, all the different things. I have to show you what else I've got. Um, so there's all these compartments. It's just, it's really bulky stuff. Um, so I thought it'd be good. It's, just loads of different compartments and then on the back you get this really big cupboard type thing um, so yeah that's really cool and I'm excited to set it all up oh what's he doing what are you doing there's nothing to pounce on you better not pounce on my hair straighteners crazy cat oh he's he's gone what's he doing oh jazzy so Ikea also had these like really good fleeces, you would have probably seen in yesterday's main channel video. And they're really big and super soft as well. I love the colour, especially this sort of, would you call it like a duck egg blue? I don't know. It's really nice. And I'm going to probably use this outside because I really like the blue colour in the outside in the guinea pig shed. Seeing as I've shown you most things, I thought I would just carry on doing a bit of a haul. I seem to have bought a lot lately or got a lot like... I got the parcel the other day, I got two parcels. Um, I don't normally like go out and spend this much. So I got this really cute little pot with flowers on. I, I thought it would look nice on my desk. As you can see, my desk is just covered in like oils and stuff and soaps and things like that. That's why I had to get some way of organizing it. But that's really cute. It matches my room nice as well. And I got loads of these little jars for making like scrubs. So I got four of them. They actually had smaller ones, but they weren't in stock, which is a shame. But then I found these, which I thought would also be good for things like that are smaller. 
Um, then they also had these really lovely like pots. I love the colours. It's like um, a really nice like pastel blue and pastel purpley colour. Finally, I got this duvet. Um, actually, Pingu chewed up one of my duvets because it was poking through his cage when he was in the bad cage. So I don't know if I would treat myself to another one. I completely forgot about these things as well. Um, like I say, I don't know, I was just having a bit of a, a shopping spree yesterday, trying to treat myself because I do need quite a lot of things. Um, in my book, there's a lot of recipes with this Epsom salt. You put it in the bath and it's like really good. Um, so I got some of that. Then I got some, uh, some rosemary. I think this was in the sort of hair treatment for like, um, for like brunette sort of hair. That's what heard they recommended to bring out highlights in your hair and I also got this adorable little bunny bunting type thing I thought that would look really cute in my bedroom you can see I've got the green like pink and blue on there that'll look adorable I don't know where to put it though bunny's having a little gnaw in the wood I need to get cleaning I've got quite a lot of cleaning to do today like I probably need to change their fleeces and their litter trays oh and <laughs> Jasper's up there Jasper, what's she doing? Yeah, I need to change the fleeces and trays. I also need to do a thorough clean of the fleece in the guinea pig shed outdoors and probably the hutch and also the rabbits. The playhouse needs cleaning. Oh, the gerbils are woke up. Hi. Um, these two, they seem to be getting on a lot better now, I have to say. Um, I'm not really sure if it's to do with them being a pair again, I don't know. Um, oh, you're going through. I mean, they were actually living in, I think there was a group of four in the pet shop, but when they're young, they don't tend to get dominant and stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> it's so cute that they just run through that. And I'm not sure where... Oh, I think Sooty is still in the nest. They've made a nest in this corner here. And he's just sleeping. Where are you trying to get to, tea cake? Yeah, you, you monkey, you monkey. <laughs> How cute is this? Pingu's just in here, and I'm gonna go put him back in his cage now because I gave it a really big clean. Um, hey, sweetie, are you gonna come in the tube? Yeah, if you're wondering, a lot of people ask me why I don't handle him. He nips. I tried for about maybe like two weeks to handle him. I was handling him every day with gardening gloves on <laughs> because he nips really bad. Like it would probably draw blood if I didn't have gloves on. Um, and it does hurt. But um, I decided, you know, that's just his personality and I'm not going to force him to do something he doesn't feel comfortable with. Um, you know, all hamsters are different and yeah. So I've also got to clean his wheel, which is why he doesn't have one at the minute. Um, I put them wood shoes, which I got in the package the other day, just hidden around the enclosure. Um, so we'll see if he actually <laughs> pays attention to these. Um, I've got his food bowl here. Why is it not focusing? So she's got like some seeds, some dried herbs and plants. And you can smell it and he's going crazy for that. Let's put it there. <laughs> oh. I actually I quite like colourful things as long as they're wooden I think it still makes it look you know fairly along you know it goes fairly well with the natural theme it just adds a bit of colour oh he's loving that Oh. See, you give him all the space and he still tries to escape. <laughs> well, I've got this for him, so maybe that'll keep his mind off chewing the plastic. Because as you can see, it's kind of ruined in the cage a bit. With all those teeth marks. Aren't you a monkey? Yes. There you go then. Oh, that's cute. Put that there. 
<laughs> have to mind out because I'd probably try and attack my hand. There you go. You gonna have a chew? Oh, how adorable. That is pretty cute. He's probably gonna go and drag it off to his nest now. Oh, this is gonna be hilarious. Watch him. Oh, oh, that looked painful. <laughs> he just landed in his dish, bless him. Oh, you got concussion now. Look at Bonnie with her little feet. Oh. So I've just put everything together in here. I thought I would just give you a quick scan. Tea cake is here to help. <laughs> you are a funny one, aren't you? You are a funny one. Um, so I've got like all the soaps here, like the vegetable glycer and stuff, the um, Castile soap. Um, oh, look at you. Look at you. <laughs> then just like some random other bits. Then I've got all the jars here. Um, the oils are mainly all on here. Then I've got that as well. Um, I've got this makeup bow here. It just sits there. Then... I've just got the pot, you can see if it it's really well. And then it's got an awful squeaky noise, but never mind. I don't really need to wheel it anywhere. And then this back door, I've just got the sole and another one of them. So I think it's really good. And I've definitely got a lot of room, so if I end up getting, oh my gosh, that's so awful. <laughs> There we go. It's also the same height as this, which I like. So I finally finished tidying my room. It has taken a long time because obviously I had to clean up Pingu's cage, but that's all done now. I have to do quite a big cl clean of the girls' runs because they get really messy. Um, they're already messy again, but what can I do? I didn't actually change that fleece because it wasn't due yet, but yeah, I've done that. Um, and also this area is all tidy now and you can see it's just like a little dressing table and I'm kind of still deciding what to put in these pots over here. Then I've also put down my new duvet and it's quite a plain one this time but I prefer it. I think my other one is quite bright. I prefer to have just like more of a simple one. Sort of ties in with the white theme I guess. Um, so yeah, nice and tidy at last. Hopefully it'll last this time. <laughs> So you guys probably remember the other day when I did the package opening of the like the oils and stuff which I got and things like that. Um, something actually couldn't get delivered with all that stuff so I got it delivered separately. Um, so I'm just going to go and open this now. Um, I think this is like the last thing that I've ordered. Um, the only other thing I would really want is like more of the dried herbs because those are in a lot of the recipes and then I think I'm done really. Um, it's quite expensive to buy all this stuff so I'm not in a mad rush to get any more to be honest. I think it actually is, yeah it is, that's good. Um, oh what's this say? So um, it's a really big bag of cosmetic clay. Um, I actually cannot remember what recipe this was for but it's a really big bag because, oh there you go, cream serums, body lotions, hair bath and massage oils, that's what they sell so I think it can be used for a mixture of different things oh <laughs> how cute does this look all the these um, bunnies around Pingu's cage it's just like that bunny garland which I got I love it I think it's really sweet and I think it matches my room really well so now that all of these jobs are done I'm probably gonna go out and change the guinea pig's fleece it's been a very busy day I feel like I've filmed quite a lot already um, so yeah, I've got to go and do that now. I'm hoping I've got enough towels because I haven't done a wash in a while, so hopefully there's enough to change their fleece. Just out here with the buns, I'm going to test out this new hay rack with these guys because I think it will slot on really well. We'll try it maybe here. So I just attach it to one of those, like the Ikea chair, like the seat of the Ikea chair. Um, yeah, actually fits quite well on there, I think. It's a good height for them. So I'm probably going to be keeping it there. These hay racks are like so good. I mean, I know they're not proper hay racks, but they're better than anything in the pet shops. Like this is one of my favourites, I think. Ikea do all sorts of good 
like hay rack alternatives, you know, alternatives to the pet shop versions. I can't remember what it's called though, so you'd have to watch my main channel video because I can't remember the name. They have quite weird names. <laughs> um, oh, look at them all, like, he's so cute. So yeah, that's really good actually. And none of them can get in here and, <laughs> you know, sit on top of all the hay, which is good.